Pari and Sarthak are partners in a firm having a capital balance of INR 20,000 and INR 30,000 at the beginning of the year. Okay, so you have two person, Pari and Sarthak. Okay, both of them are partners in a firm and their capital account balance at the beginning of the year is 20,000 and 30,000 respectively. After closing of the accounts, after closing of the accounts, please note that the accounts have been closed. And once the account have been closed, normally you do not pass any entries in those accounts. It was noticed that the entry for interest on capital on their accounts at 9% per annum were not provided. Okay, so they were entitled to interest at the rate of 9% per annum. Past necessary general entries in the book of the firm in the next year to reflect this transaction, assuming the accounts were closed and no further entry can be passed. So basically what he is saying is that ideally this is an expense of the previous year, of year one. But because the books of accounts have been closed and there is no entry which can be passed, you have to make an entry in the next year. Now let me first explain to you what does this mean. These kinds of transactions are known as past adjustments. Why? because actually the entry should have been passed in one year but it is passed in the next year so let us say everything was going right okay and there was nothing which was going wrong what is the entry which the company sorry which the firm would have passed in year one so when the firm would have paid interest on capital how much interest is there nine percent per annum so twenty thousand so interest for Pari will be 20,000 into 9% which is 20,000 into 9 upon 100, 1800. Similarly for Sarthak it will be 30,000 into 9 divided by 100, 9 times 3 is 27. So if everything was going right, the entries were passed correctly, what was the entry which would have been passed? The firm would have debited interest on capital. Why? Obviously it's an expense for the firm. Debit. By how much? 2700 plus 1800. 4500. Right? To Pari, how much? 1800 and to Sarthak 2700 okay now basically what happened this entry was not passed why because it was omitted to be passed right now in year 2 you have to pass this entry now the first question which comes up is when I mean Pari, I mean Pari's capital account. Just to avoid confusion, although it is implied, but just for the sake of completion. Now, basically, when you pass the entry in year 2, is it an expenditure of year 2? The answer is no. It is not an expenditure of the second year. It was an expenditure of the first year, but because there was no entry which was passed, and you have to make an entry now since you have realized this you will pass the entry in year 2 right but because this is not an expense so you can't pass it on through the interest on capital account why because this is not an expense so in order to reflect this expense in order to consider this expense there is an alternate account which is used which is known as the profit and loss adjustment account okay 
instead of interest on capital we are using profit and loss adjustment account the amount will be same to paris capital account to sarthak's capital account the rest of it remains the same whatever we had here just this particular account is replaced by profit and loss adjustment account okay now you must be wondering what happens to the balance of this profit and loss adjustment account which is kind of debited here please note that profit and loss adjustment account is a kind of loss account why because had it been that this was included in the last year's computation it would have increased the loss right and we all know where does the loss go where does the loss go end of the year where do you transfer the loss the loss is transferred to what to partners capital account right so let's say for example the profit of the year 1 was 10000 okay and you did not set off this 4500 so what would have happened this 10000 would have been credited to the both the partners right by how much since we are not given the ratio what will we assume we will assume that both of them are equal to equal profit and loss so this 10000 would have gone 5000 to pari and 5000 to sarthak right but was it correct the answer is no why because the profit was not 10000 it was 10000 minus 4500 or 5500 which if divided would have been how much 2750 for pari and 2750 for sarthak so effectively we had credited the account of pari and sarthak by 5000 minus this and sarthak by 5000 minus 2750 so pari is how much 5000 minus 2750 which is 2250 Similarly, Sarthak is also two fifty double two five zero. So this was credited. Now what we do? We need to do. We have to reverse the effect, right? Remember those entries which you used to do for rectification of errors. So how do you reverse it? You will debit partners capital account. So you debit pari cap account by double two five zero. You debit Sarthak's capital account by. Double two five zero, and you credit what? Credit profit and loss adjustment account by four thousand five hundred. So the effect of this will be, this credit will get cancelled with this debit, and the partners will be credited or debited depending on how much excess they got in the last year vis-a-vis -vis what is their entitlement out of this interest in the current year. So this is very simple in the sense. you just need to apply the logic once you do that it's pretty 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 very simple right just keep your eyes and ears open if you have any questions around this particular question you can maybe write it in the comment section of our website www.iedubook.com if you like this video please hit it the like button below you can also share this with your friend and help us create an educated world The lectures at iarebook.com are available for free and it is going to be free forever. Thank you for listening to this lecture.